All right, we are going to be talking about the EJPT certification and when you should consider taking it. The eLearn Security has been purchased by INE, and they are the ones who put out the training for the EJPT, and the training they have here is really good. Uh, I suggest doing the EJPT before you even consider signing up for the OSCP. If you fail this certification, you are not ready to, in my opinion, even start the course for the OSCP. The EJPT is one you should take uh, kind of to get some confidence after you've gone through the INE training right here. After you've gone through their training, you take the certification, and if you pass it, then I would suggest going on and doing the OSCP. And I went ahead and pulled up Indeed. If you look up the EJPT, and this is for everywhere, uh, there's only 10 jobs that have the EJPT mentioned. So it, as for a certification, if you're looking for getting a job, it is not one you should even uh, really consider. But for the OSCP, if you look at this, it has over 2,000, almost 3,000 jobs have the OSCP listed. So when you're looking at doing certifications, the EJPT, in my opinion, is one that's there just to give you some confidence and one you should definitely consider taking before you do the OSCP. I would use it as a marker, uh, not for anything other than that. So if you can afford the certification, I would say take it as a marker saying if you pass it, you are then ready to move on toward the OSCP. But if you fail, then you definitely need to continue practicing in INE's uh, practice uh, area right here. They're, they actually have labs in here that you can go and practice. Um, and they are the ones who own eLearn Security. So it's a great place to practice for the certification, but the certification really doesn't serve any purpose other than maybe giving you some validation and telling you whether or not you are ready for the OSCP. So that's my position on the EJPT. So I hope you found this useful.